my channel. Listen, this is for the people, by the people. Because listen, where I was a few years ago, just to give you a quick backstory, I was not only an alcoholic. I was with something. <laughs> new friends, new money, 2015. We out here, baby. I almost lost my family. And because of that, you know, I ran into a podcast that changed my life. And this podcast right here that I'm talking about was saying, you know, should Christians drink, right? And this isn't me condemning you or making you feel bad if you are a Christian that drinks. All I'm simply saying is that I once I decided to get that away from me because I mean, I was alcoholic, I was struggling. Once I also started seeing a few scriptures that gave me confirmation, okay, this is the right decision. I was then able to serve my church well. You know, I started to serving and volunteering in my church. Then, you know, I was able to take care of my kids more, provide for them more, be there as a participator, not just a provider. Just many things that was able to be transformed in my life. You know, I started to really see my purpose more clearly. And I was able to be available to not only my family, which is the first and foremost, being available to do what it is that God's called me to do, you know, my purpose. So is it worth it to be a Christian? Well, let's see. When you have too much freedom, right? Here's the deal. When you have too much freedom, you know, whether you curse like a sailor, which isn't, again, I'm not knocking anybody. Um, whether you drive fast, whatever it is, like, again, I'm not saying these things are sins. I'm not trying to sound like a theologian. All I'm trying to say is, when you're saved, you have a different type of freedom. You understand what I'm saying? You have a freedom knowing, like for me, my my version of freedom is knowing that wherever I go, I walk with peace, I walk with joy, I walk with happiness, I walk with the presence of God upon me because the Holy Spirit is upon me. So when you're a Christian, you have that thing about you, they have that glow, what they say, <laughs> you got that glow about you. You know what I mean? Like for real, you, you feel the vibe, you catch the vibe real quick. You pull up on someone when you're not a Christian as opposed to when you are a Christian, they know the difference, right? They can feel that vibe. They're like, ooh, man, I need to act right, ooh. Sometimes I don't even say nothing and people, oh my bad, I don't mean to, I, I, don't, I didn't mean to curse like that or, oh, excuse me. You know what I mean? They, they just know, right? So you got a freedom. Uh, number two, the reason why I, and this is my opinion, I'm gonna give you three things why I believe it's worth being a Christian. And um, number one, like I said, you have the freedom, different type of freedom. Our freedom is just knowing that we're walking in peace, we're walking in joy, we're walking in love, we're doing the right thing, right? We have a freedom knowing that we're doing the right thing. And this is God's world, right? Um, and we could get into that because that, that could get a little tricky how you say it. Like, oh, but what do you mean? Because in the Bible it says this is not, I'm just saying God created the earth. <laughs> Let's just be clear on that, right? Um, number two. We're saved, you know, we were saved and we were, we were redeemed, you know. Um, so what does that mean? That means we have eternal life, which means that if I'm feeling some type of way today, like my shoulders is down, I'm feeling depressed. What helps me get through that is knowing that I have eternal life. I know that this life that is right now, this physical temporary, this is all temporary, water like this is all temporary life right but we have eternal life when we're saved by the blood right and number three we look different we look different from the world i mean let's just be honest we look different from the world we're set apart we're a chosen generation we're a royal priesthood meaning we're a stone which means that we're a cornerstone like we're literally stones that each stone builds up a nice firm foundation like a nice like like uh, it, only if i can just get it I, I would love to just share a few things with you i think i believe i've seen it in, in um, the book of peter but there's some things that if you actually took your time and read the bible you'll start to realize like man we are really like man like you'll start to feel good about yourself and that's why i think that being a christian is worth it you know, I, I feel like some people have this wrong idea about Christians like, oh, you can't curse, you can't drink, you can't smoke or chew or hang out with those that do. That's not true, man. Like, I still have friends right now that I hang out with or not hang out with on the regular. Let me take a step back. There's people that I know in the past that I've hung out with that are, that, you know, I consider like a brother to me or whatever. Excuse me. That still have these habits that they do and they don't live a Christian life. 
but that doesn't mean I totally exit them out. Like I, I didn't like totally say, you know what? I can't, no. I didn't do that because I know one day I'm going to lead him to Christ because he knows my transformation, right? It's not about me. It's about seeing like what this whole Christian walk is about. It's about loving your neighbors. If you can't love your neighbor as much as you love yourself, then really what are we doing, right? So I just thought I would just share a few reasons why I personally believe being a Christian is worth it. This is Fit With Fan. Listen, like I said before, we're talking about more than just fitness. This is beyond fitness brand. This is lifestyle. This is talking about things that most people won't talk about. You know, this is something that I totally, I just thought about it one day. I'm like, you know what? Do people know that I'm a Christian? You know, because I need to, I need to make sure people are aware of that. Like, do people know that I'm married? And that's going to be another whole, that's going to be a whole different video. We'll talk about that. Keep me accountable for that. You know, you got the ring on the finger. So I'm married. Yes, I am. I got three kids. Okay. So, so yeah, this has been cool. This has been fun guys. Thank you for your time. If you have not already, go ahead and please do me a huge favor. Do yourself a favor. Do everybody else a favor that you know. Share this with someone that may need to know a few reasons why they think it's like maybe they're searching to figure out what religion, first and foremost, is not a religion, but what I should believe in. You know, why do I exist? You know, that type of thing. So um, get them connected to this video right here because I do have a few resources that I would love to help someone out with. Okay. Take care, guys. Love you so much. God bless you. Guys, here's the deal. These fitness pants, not only am I able to move comfortably, but yo, I could secure my phone right here. Boom, so when I'm working out, my phone's in my pocket. You feel me? And it's secured. It doesn't get any better than that. Guys, you gotta cop these. Fit with fan shorts, let's go.